Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net, and I'm here for part three of the Kong Drum Designer, uh, how to create some drums in Kong. Um, this time we've got, uh, let's see, we've got the bass drum now, we've got the toms, we've got, um, let's see, the snares, we've got a reverse kick. Um, now let's go up here, actually we'll go over here. Let us create, let's just create something for the heck of it. Um, fun drum. We'll do something kind of out there, a little wacky, maybe some sort of a rim shot effect. Um, let's take, uh, let's see, let's take this assortment, uh, create kind of like a chunk out of it. Okay, sounds pretty good. Now let's maybe take a ring modulator. There we go, that sounds pretty good. Let's see what else, what other damage we can do with this. Tape echo maybe. Let's wobble it, turn up the resonance, turn down the frequency, turn up the feedback. Maybe a little too much time. Okay, that's not too, too bad. Let's maybe turn down the frequency a little for the feedback. And maybe we'll just up the level a little bit on this. Okay. So, there, we've got something fun to play with. Now let's do an open hi-hat, and on this drum, we're going to do a closed hi-hat. Okay, perfect. For the open hi-hat, simple enough, I am going to use a synth hi-hat, and automatically when you play it, it's closed. So, click over here so that you can play it open. There's your hi-hat. Maybe turn down the pitch, or no, turn up the pitch. What am I saying? Maybe a little more. Uh, not that much. Okay, not that much at all. There. Okay, up the decay a little. Do we want to have a click? Mm, no. Play around with the tone. And right there, we've got a hi-hat. Okay, so take that patch, uh, copy the drum patch, go to the next one, paste the drum patch, and now to make this a closed hi-hat, well, it already is a closed hi-hat. So that complements the other hi-hat quite nicely. The other thing you want to do is you don't want to have these two sounding at the same time, which they are right now. You want the closed hi-hat to mute the open hi-hat. And by the way, on this closed hi-hat, I think it needs a little bit more reverb. So let's put a little room reverb on there. Let's up the size, up the decay, keep the width there, dampen it quite a bit because you don't want it to sound too long. Up the wet factor. Okay, so now if you want these to be um, exclusive, which on the hi hats um, you do, and this is the same as on the redrum, when you are exclusively using channel eight and channel nine, that little button on redrum, and I'll even show it to you here. Uh, if I can find my redrum now. Okay, this little button over here, channel 8 and 9 exclusive, means that on channel 8 and 9, this is usually where your hi-hats are, and it's going to exclusively sound those. Okay, um, what you are going to do, in order to get these hi-hats to respond the same way, go into your um, pad groups, and 
use the mute group or group A. A, B, and C are all mute groups. So you just want to um, make these two group together. So now when you listen to it, it's going to cancel it out. Closed hi-hat, going to cancel out the open hi-hat. Let's just hear that again. See how the open hi-hat keeps playing while you press the closed hi-hat? Okay, you don't want that, just use a mute group. Perfect. Okay, so that's enough of the hi-hats. Um, drum 11, I'm just going to do something a little funky. Um, same thing with drum 12, let's just call it funky for now. Um, we'll just have some fun with these. Um, I will take the fun drum, copy that drum patch, go into funky, paste it, and let's see what we can do using, hmm, let's try two tape echoes. And let's just totally throw them out there. Uh, let us use, how about this group over here? Okay, nice. Probably want to up the level a little bit. Maybe do the feedback more. And wobble is really like your modulation. Um, it'll create some modulation effects um, by fluctuating. It's almost like an LFO effect on the tape echo. Perfect. So um, let's take that. Uh, let's cop copy that drum patch. Let's go into Funky, paste that drum patch, and now let's try applying. Uh, let's see, what am I going to take? Actually, let's take this section over here. Instead of doing that, let's use two ring modulators. Let's have some fun with these. So basically the idea is you can have a lot of fun with these. Um, you can play around with different aspects of it. Um, in the next part to this, and hopefully this will be the last part, but there might be one or two more parts. Um, the next part I'm going to show you how to create different synths and how to tie those up. Um, so for now, take all of these and call this synth 1 and call this synth 2. This one's synth 3. And of course this one's synth, synth 4. Okay, we'll just set this up right now. Um, and now you don't need the drum modules anymore because these you're going to trigger from outside. So um, just keep these set up like this. And in the next part, I will show you how to connect up um, other synth modules like Thor, Maelstrom, Subtractor to Kong to have Kong's pads trigger those synths. So stay tuned. This is Rob from Reason101.net, and we will get through this massive Kong um, drum creation process shortly. Thanks for listening.